Alright, sup guys. Uh, coming to you with another multiplayer tutorial. And this is the Legionnaire. And Legion in my Legionnaire in my opinion is pretty immortal. And what I mean by that is is that it has abilities that will allow the Legionnaire to survive quite a bit. So what are those abilities? So let's check. So basically and the Legionnaire starts out with the with Payback Strike and Shield Wall. So Payback Strike is gonna be your main damage ability. And how the Payback Strike works is that whenever you are being attacked you will gain a you will gain a damage bonus of 200% to your payback strike when you are being attacked with any attack. So use payback strike when you are being hit by a ranged or melee attack. So you will get the damage bonus. And also with the upgrade, when you taunt, when enemies who are taunted and and you use payback strike on them, it will stun them for two seconds. So you can set up a combo with that. Also, what you want from this tree is bearmost wolves, so you are immune to flanking damage. That's gonna be very, very important, especially since you're gonna be tanking a lot of enemies. Also, now for the defensive tree, and this is what makes you that makes you very tanky. So, you start up with shield wall. This is your uh, guard generate generating ability you can block attacks with the shield wall so I recommend learning learning to use that and then there's adamant a passive that increases your armor bonus and then you also want to rush all the way down here to pick up this ability called walking fortress now what walking fortress does it will make you immune to all damage for eight seconds and what's good about Walking Fortress is that it lasts 8 seconds and its cooldown is only 30 seconds. And with the upgrade, every attack that strikes you during the walk Walking Fortress reduces your cooldown, your active cooldown times by 1 second. So that's very important. And also every attack generates guard for you. So that's very important. Then for the third ability, which is Warcry. This is gonna, this is your taunt. This is an AoE taunt. And also it will generate 20% guard from each enemy it hits. So you only need to hit 5 enemies with the Warcry to generate full guard. So when you basically run in, you run in the middle of the pack, pop Warcry, then then you can payback strike or you can pop walking fortress so you can survive and in uh, in ideal situation your teammates will take care of the enemies uh, during your walking fortress also you want to upgrade your rally so or war or war cry so you get cold so you get 200 percent armor bonus for 10 seconds and 200 percent it's it's a lot of armor you can take a lot of damage uh, during that duration. Also, when you gain more level, you wanna pick cutting words, so every taunted enemy will take 20% extra damage. You also wanna go for ability for passives like Boulevard, which increases your maximum guard by 25%, and also turn the bolt is very important, so you. Every ranged attack from the front is reduced by 50%. So very important with the with the Legionnaire. So yeah, then there's Unbowed. Unbowed is like is like a rally. Well, not like rally, but it will generate card guard per enemy it hits, and it costs no stamina, but the un well, the unbowed basically has the same purpose as Warcry, but Warcry can actually taunt enemies as well. 
So that's why I like Warcry more than Unbowed. And Unbowed doesn't have the 200% armor bonus buff. So yeah, that's that. As for the other tree... Um, I like to go... Uh, you can pretty much go try a couple of things with the Legionnaire. You can... Go for Counter-Strike if you want. But I don't like Counter-Strike for one reason. That's because it lasts only 6 seconds. But... And it has an 60 second cooldown time. So that's a long time for an, for an ability. And basically... You would have to replace... Either Bayback Strike... Or Shield Wall. And I would probably suggest replacing Bayback Strike if you wanna use Counter Strike. Because Counter Strike is actually a very awesome ability. It sucks that it it's just not worth it right now. Because of the long cooldown and the very small duration. So I'm kinda hoping that in the future the um, Bioware will actually buff this ability so it's so it's more so it could be more useful. Also, you can set up combos for yourself. As, as you can see, these two abilities, Shield Bash and Launch and Slash, are impact detonators. So you can set up a combo with Rally, then Payback Strike, and then use Shield, shield Bash. But then you would have to sacrifice Shield Wall, and that's not really, that's not really good. good for you. So this is basically the build I like to blatantly legionnaire. All you need is these two abilities, basically Warcry and Walking Fortress. Shield Wall is a Shield Wall is some great ability as well, and Bayback Strike for damage, a great ability. Bayback Strike deals more damage than Shield Bash and Lunch and Cla Lunch and Slash because you will get the damage bonus when you are being attacked, and you're pretty much being attacked all the time. And as for passives that you wanna take, you wanna take the Shield Breaker, if you can, you also might wanna take Crippling Blows, Crippling Blows as well, even, may even maybe Unyielding if you want. And you wanna also take pretty much every defensive passive here, if you can. But basically all you need is uh, Warcry and Walking Fortress with their upgrades to be successful with the Legionnaire. And as for the inventory, the weapons that I use and whatnot, uh, I have Moon Axe. I use it because it it grants me Horn of Valor, which gives me bonus damage and bonus armor for a short time. Uh, I have a Dark Spawn Alpha, sh Alpha Shield. Nothing special there. Just use your best shield available. Uh, the upgraded are the best armor I armor you need. Well, the item level 4 armor at least. And the cooldown modifier so you can use Walking Fortress and Warcry more often. I use the Stagger on Hit Ring so that I can stagger enemies when I hit them, obviously. And then I use the Melee Defense Belt and 5% Heal on Kill Ring. Even though I probably won't get a lot of kills, but whenever I do, at least I receive and heal. So yeah, that's the Legionnaire. Let's see what he's made of. Alright, sup everybody. Sorry about that little thing. Uh, this is the Legionnaire and let's see what the Legionnaire is capable of. So Legionnaire is a pure tank, so that's what he's good at. Basically. So what you wanna do with the legionnaire is basically hit anything you can. And when you see when you see that you're getting swarmed, you pretty much you pretty much pop walking fortress and continue killing people because quite frankly
quite frankly. Ooh. Getting really owned here. By the rage. Ah, oh, now I died. I am grateful. So yeah, looks like our <laughs> our little friends here were a little bit too eager with the enemies, so we got served. But hopefully this time they won't be just as eager. As you can see, the payback strike will stun enemies that are taunted. So make sure you are aware of that. I'm pretty close to dying here, but that shit can't be really helped because I'm being swarmed and flank from all directions, so it's quite hard to actually try to keep them all on your in front of you especially if you have an assassin who pretty much will get aggro from the mobs and I will try my best to keep aggro from all the enemies but it's gonna be hard especially if I have and if I get aggro from everybody they are gonna flank me from every direction and they are gonna get hits behind my back, so that's gonna suck. But those, thing, those things just can't be helped. I just have to use the shield wall and whatnot so that I can survive. <sighs> Wanna be careful with the raids, I don't want them Want them attacking me <laughs> Totally failed my shield wall there Oh shit Gonna, I have to pop the Have to pop the fucking. Yeah, I'm being fired from all directions here. That's not good. Just gonna run in with the walking fortress. Try to kill these raids. Also rally, return some of that guard for you. That was, that was kind of annoying. Because the legionnaire is not really a damage damage dealer. I am your key. So there's nothing I can Once do on that over, front. I suppose I'll have to return to the deep road. But I can survive and that's where the legionnaire is really good at. And also I'm only level 14 right now. So I don't have my rally upgraded. So that means I don't get the armor bonus. Which would be really helpful. Especially if I'm tanking everything. I have to rely on basically on wall of fortress to survive. Basically. Shit. 
can't have that. Hopefully the assassin doesn't die. I'm gonna taunt the... Taunt these fellows. Our archer is not is really weak. Well, he doesn't have he does not have the better armor, so that's kind of no no. At least I got a barrier, so that's good. As long as I keep the rates. In my front, I will get the turn the bolt bonus, and I will get the damage reduction. Fifty percent damage reduction from turn the bolt from projectiles that are coming from the front. I've had rumors of a collection of old Tevinter scrolls, but which could shed light on the magic of the breach. I've taken the liberty yeah. of the group to recover the scrolls before they are stolen. But since we have an elementals with a barrier, we should be really relatively okay. Is he gonna attack me? No. Well, yes, but victory for the Inquisition. Boom, 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 boom. Ouch. I shouldn't have used Wall of Fortress there. I didn't really benefit from it. Don't at the enemies there. Kill everything I can. Out of my way. Also, I use the war. I use war cry to restore my card. Also, you wanna. Also, keep in mind that when you. When you actually taunt with the rally, or war cry, I mean, and then use payback strike, you will stun the enemies that are taunted. So that's very key with the legionnaire. You know they say there's value in planning ahead. Perhaps we should try it. Keep sharp and have your weapon ready. That's the best advice I can give you. Oh, moment of truth! Here they come! He's gonna... The assassin is gonna die if he stays there. The boss is gonna kill her. Where the fuck did it go? Well, I'm not, I'm gonna let it stay there. Gonna kill this this fellow here. Oh, 
Yeah, right. Kill you. Now the boss is over here. I'm gonna taunt him. The elementalists should leave now. Should leave because... Also, payback strike can be used to remove any crowd control on you. So that's useful information. You can block the jump. Damn it, I'm being knocked. I'm being knocked down and whatnot, so couldn't really regenerate my HP there. I used walking fortress to dodge the jump. By this motherfucker. You can also block the fear with shield wall, so that's very important when you are tanking. I will also be blocking the... Gonna taunt everything here. The boss is gonna jump on me. Nice. Maybe that's gonna happen. Gonna taunt all the mobs here. Block the. He's dead. Block the jump. And that's pretty much it. Pretty easy. Legionnaire can survive pretty much anything in this game. Using rally to taunt, taunt those guys. So yeah, that's the Legionnaire. Uh, very, very powerful. Best, best tank in the game. Well, Arcane Warrior could be better as it can deal more damage. But uh, it's pretty tough. To, you, it's pretty impossible to die with the Legionnaire, as you saw there. I barely had to use any any potions. I didn't even need the spirit, spirit resistance tonic there. So the Legionnaire is quite powerful. So yeah, let's see how I did. Not bad. For a level 14. So yeah. That's for the Legionnaires. See you next time.